Hi guys. Hi, welcome to this week's Words of Life message. Juliana here. Hope you guys are doing well. I hope your Thursday has been going well. It's been a little bit crazy today and um, I've been waiting for what God wants to share with you guys. And this one is a little bit unconventional, but I love that because not every word that he gives me is going to be the same. And I'm learning to, as I've said before, flow with his spirit, <clears throat> move when he says to move, speak when he says to speak. And that being said, also share what he wants to share in the way he wants to share it. So God will often use for me music quite often to speak to me. And music has a way of cutting through a lot of a lot of stuff, a lot of barriers, um, a lot of distractions. Music will often, God will use it to um, encourage me. He uses it to comfort me. He uses it to inspire me. And he also uses it to move me. I can remember um, when we used to live in New Jersey, um, I came into our study at the time and I had this older song out and it was called The Power of Your Love. And it just kept coming to mind all the time. I would find myself humming it. I'd find myself listening to it constantly. And in one of the lines, it says, hold me close. Talking about the Father, hold me close. Let your love surround me. And when we were living in New Jersey at that time, I was in the early stages of pregnancy and with our first little one. And... Um, we ended up having a miscarriage and God used that song multiple times as we grieved the loss of our little one. And when words wouldn't come, um, that song became my cry to God. Would you just hold me close? Would you just let your love surround me? Um, it became exactly what I needed when I couldn't muster up the words myself. Um, and the song that I have been playing as of late this week and the last two weeks has been a song called um, Hills and Valleys by Torin Wells. And if you follow me on Facebook, I'll put the link to that. But you can find it on, on YouTube, Torin Wells, T-A-U-R-E-N, Wells, W-E-L-L-S, and it's Hills and Valleys. And what I love about that song is that no matter what you're facing, whether you're in the valley or you're in the mountain of your life um, in circumstances or in the season that you're in, God is there with you and you are not alone. <laughs> I've needed to be reminded of that many times throughout this week as change is, is all around us as a family on all fronts. I get overwhelmed with it and sometimes if I let myself run with it, I get overcome with emotion and today was one of those days. I had a rough day today, um, had a good cry as my husband prayed over me and this song has been kind of like an anthem that I know God this by faith and my feelings have to come back into line but I love the lines that says, on the mountain I will bow my life to the one who set me there. In the valley I will lift my eyes to the one who sees me there. When I'm standing on the mountain, I didn't get there on my own. When I'm walking, sorry, when I'm walking through the valley, I know I am not alone. You are the God of the hills and the valleys, hills and the valleys. God of the hills and the valleys, and I am not alone. And it talks about different seasons of life, walking among the shadows, wiping the tears away, um, praying prayers in our lowest places, watching dreams get broken. It's in you that I hope. Um, and Father, he gives and he takes away and, and every joy and every pain through it all, he will remain. Um, so what hope we have. And I have needed this song to be the cry of my heart when my emotions kind of get the best of me, when my fears want to take hold very quickly and cause me to be afraid that God's not going to be faithful to us, that I somehow have to carry all of the change on my shoulders. And I just can't. I can't. And I'm quickly reminded to come back and, and God reminds me, I've got this for you, my girl. I've got this for you. Every part of it, I've got it just one day at a time, 
one moment at a time. I've got you. So maybe today you need to hear that song. Maybe you find you're on the mountaintop and you, um, you need to be reminded that it was God that brought you to that mountaintop. Maybe you're in the valley and you need to fix your eyes on Jesus. Like I said in one of the last couple messages, you need to fix your eyes on Jesus to keep soaring above your circumstances. I'm, I'm in the valley right now, not quite on the mountaintop right now, but in the valley. And in the valley, I want to remain steadfast in the Lord because there I find peace. There I find confidence. There I feel a settledness and my emotions quickly come back into alignment with the truth. And so um, may that be kind of the song. Maybe God's speaking another song to you. And maybe you need to hear God. What is your message for me through that song? Um, God uses anything and everything to speak to us. He's such a creative God. He wants to pursue after us. He wants to minister to us. He wants to encourage us. He wants to build us up. He wants to shift our way of thinking and he'll do that through whatever we, uh, whatever we will allow him to speak into. Um, for me this week, it's been a lot of music. Um, a lot of words in this song have just ministered to the deeper parts of me to remind me, yes, this is true of God. You are the God that remains, no matter the circumstances, no matter how I feel, you are the God that's got me. You're the God that will carry me through. And you are the God that looks after my emotions that sometimes get the best of me. So I hope that encourages you guys for wherever you're at. And I just want to let you know that you're not alone. Um, in, in life, we have troubles and we have things that are stretching and we have times where it feels overwhelming. And so I just want to encourage you to reach out to the God that loves you and that cares very deeply about you. And um, maybe there's a song, maybe this will be the song for you that God will use. So I'll put a link in my Facebook um, to that song for you guys. You can take a listen to. Um, but ask the Lord, what would you like to encourage me with today? What do you want to comfort me with today? What do I need to hear about your deep and rich love for me in this moment today? So I'll see you soon, guys. I'll see you next week. Okay, bye.